Hello there, now we're gonna check uh, Backbone, the prologue of a nice indie point and click adventure with uh, human like uh, animals, and it's a pretty cool uh, noir style detective game from what I have seen. But let's not uh, waste time talking, let's go and uh, Check how, how the game is actually playing. Let me see here the options. Pretty really cool music there. You can always do everything sound cooler with some uh, saxophone there. Let's see. Okay, nice loading. Nice pixel art. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Yeah, I think we're private PI. Just enough time to clean up. Okay. A D to move, E to interact with objects. Okay. Hmm. See here, living room. Okay, that's an exit to the next screen here. Insurance frauds, lost cars, and stranded lovers should probably get rid of some of these old case files. Use to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. Uh, so there you can see the interactable items. See it? And so there is no pixel handling. You can uh, actually see which item you can interact with. Oh. Here is our inventory. Dirty dishes. Looking forward to the day when dishes are edible <laughs> or wash themselves. Till then, could I wash this myself? Or maybe later. Okay. Yeah, that's a universal problem, my dude. I'll have a detailed log here. Objectives. Tidy up before the client arrives. Okay. How's the sound of the game, by the way? Is it too low? Let me raise the sound a bit. Okay. Let's check the rest of the house. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. But I've hit Frankie next. Frankie up next time. I'm in the Fusdale. Okay. And when I have gas, so oh, never. No lots of reads. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. <laughs> Lives to work by. Photochemicals. Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Hard to get tired of this view. Place that this is here. I'll wash this later. Probably not. Oh, let's check the toilet here. Can I go there. Toilet books. <laughs> the great apes. The great story. Swell toilet read. The Great Apes. Elliot Graham said it best. Enlightening, enlightening account of the last beacon of civilization and its masterful architects. Essential. Also, there are more uh, comments when you check some things. Among many great stories, the great story stands out as the gripping yet edifying tale of our tenacious leaders and their crusade to usher in an era of prosperity for the city and its citizens. Oh, and actually when you 
read everything, then you cannot interact anymore. Oh, let's see. So I can interact with the window more. Apes. I will. I could use a quick smoke outside. Anything else? Oh, the chemicals. Everything knows it's replaced. <laughs> oh, the client. That must be Mrs. Green. The femme fatale, I guess, on this story. Oh, dead. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Luthor. We spoke on, uh, on the phone. Uh, now we have options. I wonder if those options actually change uh, the outcome. Let's... Uh... Start with this one. At your service, Mrs. Green. How's your day going? Oh, uh, truth to be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancies put real pressure on the spine. And please, but that is fine. Your first kid? Third, actually. Uh, must be a handful. Whoa, so I'm guessing you didn't come to ask about babysitter. <laughs> Let's go with this one. I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. Hmm, I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. You suspect he's cheating on you? You try to talk to him about it? Yes, but he gets difficult, like it's my fault. I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it uh, for the court. Court, are you feeling for a divorce? Tell me about, about the affair. Hmm. Now let's go for this first. Tell me about the affair. What do you want to know? Uh, what made you think he's not faithful? Oh, there is a rich dialogue tree here. He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late. Missing work and smelling funny. Uh, okay. What kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Hmm. He's keeping work? I have had calls from his boss wondering if he, had, if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. Oh, by the way, let me change the... <laughs> the title here on the stream. Sorry about that. We're not in Dreamskeeper anymore. Oh, there is the prologue here. Nice. Now we're playing Backbone. Smoking the herbs. Yep, probably. Let's see here. Have you had calls from your boy? Yeah. Okay. And you caught him lying? Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met. Or at least I thought so. Hmm. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? I can see how this permitted Mr. Lotor. That personal details can make or break the case. I don't see how this will help you with... Uh, I don't see how this will help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know how he thinks. Let's go with this one. Let's not be aggressive with the lady. Fine. He has a mean temper. Unpredictable. That's all you need to know. Okay. Let's talk about the uh, about court then. You want to file for divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Uh, your husband will want the kids? I, I can't take any chances anymore. Uh, but has he said or done something to you, you think he would? This is a separate issue. One I don't want to dig up right now. Hmm. Mm, evidence for custody battle is extra. Is the kids are dead? I really need every age I can get. Hmm. Let's go with this one. He, was, uh, he has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot still have to go through all of this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. 
Mm, let's go though. I know this is easy and easy, but it's alright. Yes, I'm finally being brave, or them at least. Let's nail this bastard. I need a picture and information about the his routine. Sure, what do you need to know? Let's see here. What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course, a little stockier than you. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase he went from work. Okay, yeah, let's go for the full name first. Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. Where will I find him usually, I mean? Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Hmm. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. How old I pick him out of the crowd? He wears his suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Where does he work? At the Hoof Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. We're just a matter of my fee. Okay, I can give you 100 now and 50 when you're done. Will that suffice? Yes. Plus any expected, unexpected expenses. Please be careful, if this gets out, I'm as good as dead. I understand, I'll get started immediately. Call you later tonight, goodbye you're dead. Okay, we'll go to the case. Set here. On oh, this all the locations, I guess I can quick travel later on. Find Jeremy Green and evidence of infidelity. He works at the Wolf Bank on the Grand Mill, okay. Oh, this is the picture. A picture of Dad's husband doesn't really... What's... Really strike you like a sleazy uh, scared chaser. Doesn't seem handsome enough. Maybe he's funny. <laughs> okay. Now let's go. Oh, tap to access detective menu. Okay. Can I exit here? Okay, decent so far. And pretty cool uh, pixel art there. Oh, here we are. Now we are outside. Pretty cool uh, graphics. Let me change some sound options here. I think the game is still too low. It's amazing what you can do with pixel art these days. And of course it's raining when we were start the uh, <laughs> case here. Grand Mill smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Okay, cool guy. Squirrel. Damn, that's a big squirrel there. Yo, old man. You can look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Well, let's start with. How's it going, fella? Just hanging. What's up with you? We'll say I'm hanging too. From my hanging to yours, peace, bro. Oh, he's a bro. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Yeah, man. Even if I had, where would I tell you? Well, see you. Not cool, bruh. Not cool. What do we have here? Berman and Sons. Berman. One slick sliver tongue devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. He's a lawyer. Oh, I cannot talk to that guy. Oh, real nice. I really see, dig the style here. Oh, let's check the posters. 
The day I bought a bike, the life of a young handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses path with a dangerous man, and he doesn't, and he does it on his bike. Okay. Anything else? Johnny and John don't drive. Two retired taxi drivers meet next to their childhood home, and Johnny doesn't know that Johnny's dying. <laughs> okay, amazing story there. We need the epic trailer guy voice here. Anatoly. Oh, let's see the titles up here. The day I bought a bike, Citizen Maine. Oh, as in Citizen Kane, I guess. Johnny and John don't drive. The great story, shown every day. Okay. Oh, let's see here. They did a great job restoring the Vogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so bad. Well, don't uh, make me start uh, talking about uh, movie theaters these days. Let's talk to Anatoly. Hey, if it's Mr. Howie, what's a ra rascal like you up to this fine evening? Let's see. Hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone here. Could a minute? Oh, let's go with this. My beaver, how are Strickland and the kid? They both doing just fine. Casey and I are good. Great. We even got a second lad you soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another? Whoa, you guys are lucky. Thanks. He's a big one too. This is Ryan as a watermelon, right? So I tell her, eh, woman, you get a, any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Eh. Great. Funny, let's go with this one. And so, <laughs> she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. <laughs> oh boy, women, man. Women. Women! Mysterious creatures, they love bread. So, we break the news to our boy, Victor. Son, you're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, Oh, no, a bro? What? <laughs> what is it? Let's keep uh, listening to him and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. So I tell him, Mama and Papa work hard, so the apes let us another baby. Baby boy, just like you. Oh, another mention to apes here. What's up with the apes? Here, ape there. Is this post humanity something? And the apes are stuff of legends like, uh, like gods or something? Anyway. Uh, mm hmm. Yeah, women and bread. Little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, daddy, we're going to be so happy. Baby bro and I are going to play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's a catch. There always is. You and mama are gonna have to look after him because two babies means zero daddies because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> what a funny guy. Jeez, are you right, man? Oh, he's got start breaking up here. Hey, man, it's hey, man, it's now. What did you say you were going here? I'm looking for a guy. Here's a picture. You've seen him ever? Yeah, I see him. Part of laughs kind of guy. Smell really bad. Took him back from uh, the bite a couple times. Oh, he smelled of what exactly? Oh, you know, poopy kind of smell. <laughs> Stale booze and perfume, herbs. Awful, awful stuff. The fuck does he go every night? Anyway, did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell did enough talking for both of us. Eh. Any idea where he'd be now? Yes, the bite is as good as I guess as any. It's a goopy place though. Eh. Thanks, Anatoly. You're a detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. Bye. The graphics are uh, on their best when they are on this distance. Now the pixel art looks amazing. Mm, I think I have the correct resolution here. Let me check here before we continue. Yep. Oh, we can go 60 FPS. So I guess. Does it make any difference? Mm, no. The animation was smooth either way. Oh, another 
poster here to check. Eden Simmons is the rising jazz star. See her tonight, only at the bite. Neat. So let's check this out once I'm done with this case. Well, I guess we're gonna go to the bite one way or another. Anatoly talked about the bite. Woof bang. Is there where green works? Oh, here we have a banger. Yeah? How are you doing this pleasant evening? Why do you care? Uh, is this around? Let's go with this. And who are you? Oh, so you know him. Also loves me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Well, say hi to Derek here, because you two are probably not gonna see your money again. I'll find him make sure it doesn't happen again. See him today? Oh, let's... Mm, let's go with this one or hi Derek. Let's go with Derek here. Today, but the whim has left early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wing. Okay, did something happen at work? Heard his uh, contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Oh. Do you boys spend time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bike every Thursday until he turned into a needy leads. The bite? Could he be there now? How the fuck will I know? Now, skedaddle rack. I do just that. Okay, did the fucker uh, met a really expensive mistress or something? I oh, have new objective here. Let's see. It seems green. Break on the bite after work. Find a way to the club. Okay, okay. Uh, we all have the picture on our inventory. These room veggies. Oh, the bite. Hmm, might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Yes, you are. And of course, the bouncer is a bear. Let's check the road. Oh, oh we have a run button. Oh my god. Nice. Let's see here. Lucius. $14.99 for a dream, what madman will pay for something they could do at home with a pair of scissors? Shoot, that's Downey right there in the police booth. He'll leave my brain out if he sees me. Oh, there is a crouch mode. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So we have stealth mechanics. I really like this uh, street here, amazing uh, pixel art. Let's not talk to him yet. Can I remove crowds? Okay. What's that? We come out. Old Onur still tending to the shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out uh, by Yumi Mart. Maybe next time. Kensian Sands. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. I feel you, man. Oh, what do we have here? Oxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora, who then puke all over my new coat and the memories this place brings. Oh, well, I can go inside. Oh, carpet's been. Let's see, socks, takeaway boxes, six, aha, uh -huh. a ticket to the bite. Thanks, Trasbin. What the fuck? I didn't expect to find a ticket there. Really? Bo. Just bo. Oh, I cannot go any further. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Sure, shoot. For a half loon, you can read them all with your own eyeball. Alright, there you go. What's the headline today? Front page today, great day parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Ah, oh, business anyway. Well, you tell me. People want their damn news for free and damn hawkers don't help any. Hawkers? You know, peddlers. They hold their rickety, provide stunts around and collect all the profits with nary a permit. Why does it bother you so much? Well, hawkers don't worry about bills or allowance, you see. 
so they can afford to sell cheap. Other got honest businessmen like myself, criminals. Hmm. The police booth is right there. I've tried reporting them before. By the time an officer gets here, the hawkers are smoke. Past 90 legs. Gotcha. I'll better go then. I'll bet my tail that damn rotten with the seeds will be arriving any minute now. Hmm. Let's go with this one. Oh, cheer up, Bo. You have at least one loyal customer. Well, how about you buy something then? I've got Dibbles, fizzy drinks. Actually, just remember I got a run. <laughs> I'm trying to come back later though. Oh, loyal customer by us. Get up here. Well, excuse me. Bye, Bo. Well, excuse me. Let's go this way. Stealth this way. I want to see what happens if he actually cuts me. Let's go the alleyway here. Hmm. Well, we have a ticket. I guess there are multiple ways to approach the situation. Hmm, let's see. Let's talk to Larry here first. Howard, well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? It's me. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Same old can complain. What's going on with you? I'm happy for you. My own kid and I went downhill a while back. Sure to hear. Have you seen a, an other guy around here recently? What did he do? Let's go with this one. Awful things to his pregnant wife. Oh man, poor lady. What's he like? Here's a photo. I haven't seen him, sorry. Uh, let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. Thanks, I'll catch you later. Bye. Bye, Larry. And before we talk to the intercom, let's see what happens if I talk to the big bouncer here. No, I trust for raccoons. Goodbye. Hmm. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Uh, let's go with the ticket right away. What's this? Uh -huh. You are a funny little fella. So, can I get now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster. So, no. But thanks for a good laugh. You're welcome. Can I get in? No. Don't test my patience. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Ah, oh, so the ticket doesn't do anything. Okay. Back to the alleyway. Let's check the intercom here. No answer. Okay. Let's talk to Larry again. So, what's that? And your guy? I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me in the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cut and talk route in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. He seemed to interspecies relationships. Um, <laughs> where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. Let's go with this one. Have any ideas of how I could get in? Uh, what could you do is ask Johnny. He's no better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chumby. Chummy. Okay. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Your typical, like, hype or satterfang. Oh, get this! He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. What the fuck? Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. <laughs> I feel it. And you think this Johnny guy called Hell? Monkey Butt? Yeah, what is this new thing? The shit. Though perhaps a bit less uh, figuratively <laughs> than one might wish. Stangy thing. Oh, do you think the author is is getting uh, this monkey butt thing? That's why he stinks. Does it have a kind of a helpless thing? I have no first-hand experience, but I guess that would be a more delicate way to put it. Hmm. Okay. And you think this Johnny guy help? Might take some convincing, but uh, he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. He's clients, I think. What do you think about the bite? 
Owners uh, Bloodworth. So lots of rumors floating around uh, about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth, the bear family? Crime family. Get a lot of friends in high places. Then the head of the family up and dies. And shit hits the fan. Kerr ended up dead too in the aftermath. And the current owner is a relative? Yeah, he was a cousin or something. Wow, what's she up to now? People say she's taking back the whole operation, piece by piece, starting with the bite. Alright, that should be enough to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. You caught it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon. Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Nice job, Larry. Thank you there. Let's go and talk to Johnny, the bro guy. Yo, bro. Ah, where is the guy? Up oh, here he is. Yo, old man. Hey, Johnny. Who's asking? <laughs> give me a. Are we gonna give him false name here or the real name? Um, let's go with the uh, real introduction here. I'm Howard Lotor. Pleased to meet you. You're Johnny, right? Fitting name. <clears throat> give me a second here. Fitting name for a grown ass dude in trench coat. What do you need? Mm. Let's see. Let's start with a bite. I need to go into the bite. I'll pay you do, pal. But why are you so like air? Uh, I heard this little monkey bad through you. Listen, I heard it. it's the place to go for the good shit. Oh, you mean like the new school jazz or the great apostolary? At the crap, I know they deal Maggie Bat in there. Say what now? What did he tell you that? Oh, you know how it is. Word gets around. Well, the word didn't get all or come from me. You are out of luck, old fart. I'm always uh, losing his voice here. <laughs> I have to go with a more uh, Ken Reeves vibe here. Oh, dude. Excellent. The voice is a bit bit tired today. Anyway, give me a moment, please. Let's see. Kid, I know I'm being a bore, but I really need your help. Please, will you lend a hand? Look, you're gonna get me into the bite. I won't take no for an answer, you shit. Just help me with the bouncer. Is that too much to ask? Let's go with this one. Kid, I know I'm being a bore, but I really need your help. Please, will you lend a hand? What's in for Johnny? Hmm. Okay, fine. I'm a detective. My mark is in the bite. A PI is in the bad guy to have owning you a favor. You're shitting me? Prove it, Bang. Hmm, let's see here. I might consider not turning you to the cops if you help me. Look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. <laughs> Do you think I'll ask you if it wasn't serious? Now scram. You have to trust me, Johnny. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Ever heard that? Let's go with the trench coat there. Trench coat is always a PI thing. Yeah, dude, yeah, so all I see is a filthy dress mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too. And the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of the crab cake. Hmm, let's see here. Let's go with this takes one to no one. I can't believe you're for real. What a right. You know what? Screw it. Meet me in the entrance. I'll get you in. I can't wait to hear what happens to you in there. I aim to please. Yeah, couldn't stick with a nice voice for Johnny there. Yo, yeah, dude. But fuck it, let's go in the bite. Is there a save we can do? Oh, I guess it auto saves. Yo, yeah, Johnny. Sir, talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? Here's Johnny. <laughs> Hey Johnny, another client of yours to entertain? Eh, stripper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. And we're inside the bite. 
Let's see this famous club here. New objective. Find out if Green was in the bye tonight and where he might have gone next. Okay. Nice atmosphere here. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies, all a little too high end for my taste. Let's talk with Renee first. Well, you're unusual. Oh, oh, with a singer there. Nice. Not unlike that greeting. You sure? Renee Wilson. Our lotter. Ah, let's go with Wallace. Let's not give our real name inside here. Wallace, pleased to meet you. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for Wallace. <laughs> oh my god, nice. Uh, calling it, that's a line. You will have said that no matter what name I give you. You're quick. You are a wit. Yes, that makes us even. Take my card. Investigative journalist. It's a living, usually. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. I'll see you around. As the bus begin to close, oh, let's go with the, street is the second option here. No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Got it. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. Goodbye. Wow, nice lady there. Let's see here. Renee Wilson, investigative journalist. We meet at the by sat some wit. Seemed pleasant enough. Oh, great day parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Mm, okay. We have live music here. Nice. A lot of ladies to talk around here. And the super bouncer here. Now let's start with this one. Colby. Hey there, you here for Eden Simon show too? I'm so happy to see her live finally. Yeah, I'm not sure if I go for lady voices here. I'm gonna fuck my voice and it's not on their best form. So allow me to <laughs> go for with a more heavy voice for the ladies. Mm. I haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound though. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. Nice music! Very cool uh, soundtrack so far in this game. You sound like a big fan. I got a record player just for here. This is mostly all I listen to. <sighs> nice, nice. But it's the first time you are catching her live? And eh, nah, my mom doesn't prove the place. I had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. How come if you don't mind me asking? Eh, I don't think uh, she's stepping in a bar in her life. This place is about 10 times sleazier in her head. Sounds like it was worth it. It's good music. Eh, well, you can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. Hmm, let's go with Wisa is cool. Say, have you seen another gentleman tonight? Here is his photo. Let me think, I think I saw someone like that walk in. Was his hat green? Oh yes, and so was his tie. I thought it was funny. Did he have a briefcase with him? I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Okay. Did you see where he went? I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the same color dress. Thanks, and enjoy the show. Okay, which one? Oh, this one, I guess. Ingrid, let's see here. Let's talk to the other customers here. Let's get more information. Isn't this too dreamy? Well, <laughs> let, let's go with smooth talk here. Well, you sure are. God, I love this music. Wanna dance with me? Hmm, sorry, no. 
Can you at least answer a couple of questions for me? Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you. Have a pleasant evening. Well, the dance floor is not the best place to ask questions there. Hmm. Larissa. You look like lo a little lost. I'm exactly where I need to be. Let's go with a cool uh, answer here. Uh, confident. I don't recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are you? Are we? Do I look like a troublemaker to you? Mm, let's go with... Nope, just trying something new for a change. How's that working out for you? Mm, pretty well. I'm enjoying the conversation at least. The, fe the feeling is mutual. So, to whom do I owe the pleasure? Ladies first. Uh, so you like to be the one in control. I can assure you that won't work in our relationship. Uh, okay. Mm, let's go with Wallace. Mm, let's go with this one. Fuck it. Let's go for the uh, truth here. Private investigator, how a lot or to your service, ma'am. How oh, exciting. Are you here on business? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with this one. I'm solving it. I'll... What if I am? Wouldn't I be welcome like any other customer? That's up to me to decide. And no, you wouldn't be. Please leave. This is not at all suspicious. Maybe I'll see you around. Don't worry, Mr. Lotor. I'm sure you will be seeing each other again soon. I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Clarissa. Ah, uh, are we throwing out of the bite? No, I fucked up there. Oh, this is the boss, I think. The one with the bear family. No. Clarissa Bloodworth. He, she's hiding something. Green is in there. I just need to find another way in. No, I fucked up. God. Oh, Florence. This truck that wasn't here before. It's a delivery truck. The door is open. Mm, let's see. Before we enter, let's talk with the little bunny here. What are you looking at? Mm, are you right? Mm, I'm fine. What's it to you anyway? Florence, right? We're on the attack. Peace off, I told you. I'm not leaving till I get here back. Mm, are you hurt? Do you need help? You are not one of them thugs. Mm, let's go with the polar introduction here. Even though giving my name to everyone might uh, backfire eventually. No, ma'am. Private Detective Howard Lotter. Nice meeting you. Detective, I don't understand. Maybe we can help each other out. How? I need to find a way in that building. Can you help me? Maybe. I mean, not really. Try the code at the door, but damn filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. Uh, who are you trying to talk to? It's my daughter. She's not filthy. And I've been coming for days, but they say they won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it. Okay. Why won't they let you talk to her? Say she doesn't want to talk to me, but they are lying. I know it. They just want to keep it all hushed up like. Hmm, what's she doing in there? He decides he's gonna make it all on her own. Plants herself in a whorehouse, stupid. Oh, they're dragging her, I know it. They won't let her see her own mother. My poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What does she look like? Grey fur, name's Rosie. No, name's Rose. Drives your nuts when I call her Rosie. She just turned 20, you see. Didn't want to be a kid anymore. Oh, if they heard a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm gonna burn this ditch to the ground. Okay, how are you so sure she's still in there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can say she... Chill, mother, chill. Hmm, let's see. So she's been visiting the bite before? Told me she was waitressing, liar. 
I ask around, this elites a filthy drug den for horse. Fucking liar. When did you last see her? Two, three weeks ago. We had a fight. So you fought her about her job at the bite and that was the last time you saw her. What about it? Nothing. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. Mm, you said you tried the code in the intercom? Memorize it word for word. Great fire, damn me. I'm, I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Mm, do you know any other way in? No. I've heard voice up the roof. But how do you get in there? Okay. Alright, thanks for helping. I better go look for a way in then. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her. Please. Take care. So now we have to check the intercom, but first, can I go inside the truck? Break in. The interior is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There is a weird looking recording device on a dashboard. The compartment seems to be unlocked. Okay, open the compartment. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or checks. Go through the newspapers. Two newspapers from September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading through them. Okay, read the headlines. Epidemic continues. Geese may be spreading disease. Mm, okay, next one. This is wall attacks. Oh, this is wall. Attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Okay. But the invoices. The old mason, a company called Starling Cider Limited. Purchasing unnamed goods from Bite Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Okay. Let's use the device. It's a voice recording device hardwired into a track dashboard, probably set for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recordings if you enter the correct dates. Hmm. Select dates from the invoice and newspapers. Oh, here we are. Got three packets for you. Geese, damn you. I can't fit that many. We expected you two hours ago. Put in being an ass and I'll leave. We have five packages ready for pickup. Three is all I can fit in the truck. You are four hours late. Leave me alone. Hmm, okay. Let's leave here. Do I have the items in my inventory now? Nope. Uh, where have you been? We spent you two hours ago. Mm. Let's go with what the bunny said, but I don't think that will work here. <laughs> yeah, of course that doesn't work. Okay. I wonder if we choose the wrong thing. And... Mm. Okay. Whatever, we got one packet today. Okay, so we have the choice with the apes, that was the right one. Whatever, we got one packet today. Prepare them for loading. Oh, come on, I have to say the correct thing here. Apes, sorry. Create a link to load. Come in and wait in the laundry. I'll bring them over once they're ready. Okay, coming in. Now, oh, do I have to avoid the big... Uh, Boss lady there. Great lift. Packaging lift going downstairs. Needs a turnkey. Hmm, this doesn't look very clean. I will not eat here even if they didn't kick me out. Oh. 
Ugh, you fail. Don't get caught the next time. Oh my god, so there are fail stages here. What can I do here? Do I have to be sneaky? Let's go upstairs. I cannot pass the bounce either. Press control to crouch. Enemies can hear you when you are crouched and don't see you behind dark objects. There we go. Green must be in one of these rooms. I have to be careful not to get caught. Metal Gear Raccoon. Let's go. Stealth our way inside this place. Oh, I like this picture. That's uh, from a fam famous painting there. Nothing to see here, let me go. We only can enter this private room here. Shit, I missed him. He's just been here. I can smell the monkey butt. What the fuck? This name of the drug is amazing. Maybe he left something behind that could help the dead. Let's see the painting here. A green tie stuck behind the frame. What if I budge it? What the? Secret lift. And green went in there. I wonder what's on the other side. Oh, this is the herbs. That must be monkey butt. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs, but oh boy, it stinks. Green's green hat. Might just as well take a shot. Get in there and press the button. Find the guy or maybe something more exciting. The club is definitely hiding something. Well, here goes nothing. New objective. Now what's our objective here? Okay, we still have to find the green and see the what they're doing down here. A freezer, green one to an ice cream. Greg, if you're gonna swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note or you mess up the inventory. No, let's not talk to the intercom yet. Duke honey. Okay. Intercom and door. Closed, but the hatch is wide open. Come on. Okay, let's see the intercom there. In the intercom, connect to the other rooms in the building. There is a list of extensions close by. Dial bar, dial freezer, dial packaging, dial kitchen. Hmm. I guess I cannot climb through here, right? Let's go with kitchen here. Kitchen, listening. <laughs> you suck! Go to order a large pizza pineapple on top. Pineapple on a pizza. Are you crazy? Wait, don't go anywhere. I think someone is coming. You fell. Okay. Hmm, what can I hide if he comes here with a pizza? Is that a hidden spot? Ah. Oh. Yeah, I can hide here. This is a nice hiding spot, I guess. Let's go again with the kitchen. 
You suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go hide. Is it gonna come over, all the way over here? Ah, I guess I can just scroll in here. Oh, here's the guy. Oh, now I know what to do. I have to go call the intercom so this fucker leaves the place and I can keep uh, walking. Okay, okay. Now it makes sense. Let's go. Let's go. Dial freezer. It's the same intercom we are using. Dial bar. Boy speaking. Hey, boy. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? No, just taking the connection. Wait, what? Who is this? It's listening. It's Greg stuck in the freezer again. <laughs> Fucking hell, Greg. Hold up, I'm coming. Let's go inside now. Enough pranking them with the intercom there. Oh, he's not leaving? Him. No. I guess that doesn't work. Hmm. Now, I thought if I dial the kitchen, now one of the cooks will be coming here. Now, how can I make the other one leave? Let's use the mixer, I guess. Stay here. Nice. Locker room. No sign of any otter. Of my otter. Now let's see this locker here. Hmm. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe. Apes the light. Okay. I'm gonna find a combination here. This is our first puzzle, I guess. Rising star under the west poses. Rollers to final VS Starling, okay. Hmm. See anything I can use? Maybe those things here. Did not get anything. Greg, keep turning. Keep turning it downstairs by your station, okay. Oh yeah, we need that for the other elevator there. Mm, let's see, freight lift. The lift needs a turnkey. Hold lock. Oh, here we are. So we have to find the combination from that uh, locker there. Okay, well, let's see the hints here. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now I get it. Let's see. I oh, have uh, those things here. Six for one. Hmm. Is 
these are the zero. I see. Four, five. Now, what's the order though? Hmm. Four numbers. Five, four, one, zero. This one four five one zero. This is the correct order here. That's the issue here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the four numbers here. Hmm. Now, what's the hint about the order here? Four, five, one, zero. around I'm not gonna brute force this and let's see there should be a... oh, this is the ticket from this fight I guess Starling and Taurus this uh, match basketball or whatever Here we are. Yeah, yeah. This is a hint about the numbers. Let's see. Let's get them there. Okay, so let's see. 
First is the square one. Okay. The square. This is the square, so zero, I guess. Okay, then we have the bolts here, the circle. So that's four. And then we have the rhombus or how it's called. So five. So zero, four, five, one. The triangle last one. This is the only one with hair. Oh, or this is the triangle. Mm. Okay, well, let's see. Let's try zero, four, five, one. Or the other way around. Zero, four, five, one. Zero, four, five, one. <laughs> yes. Okay, it took me a while, but I got it. Oh, that's a really dark place here. Not to see shit. Nothing to direct here. Nothing, I guess. Oh, the other is dead. Oh my fucking what? Green's dead. Fuck, what have you gotten yourself into? Oh, someone is coming. Let's hide there. Are they killing pe people and eating them here or something? Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cat. Eh, okay, coming. Are the carnivores eating the herbiv herbivores here? Plot and the plot thickens. Find out if Green was in the bite tonight. Yeah, yeah. Escape. Hmm, let's see. There is a key there. The 10 key. Maybe I'll make it all alive. Sorry, it says. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. That, that turned there. A little darker, really fast. Look at this. Delivery order. Bite Foods LCC to Starling Cider Limited. So they're killing people and selling their meat here. Yep. Okay. Was expecting to be something about uh, an affair or drugs here. Anyway. Let's use the lift now. And now I can live through here, I guess. Anything else we can do? Oh, let's go. Yeah, understandable uh, reaction there. that was the prologue pretty cool not gonna lie that was nice thank you for playing backbone demo prologue it's content are going to be evolving until full game release nice it was pretty good I like the music. The writing wasn't bad. 
And that's uh, one of the major selling points for an adventure like this one. And of course it has a pretty good uh, pixel art. If the whole story is well written, this might be a pretty good uh, choice. Oh, thank you Kickstart backers. Okay, so they go, the game was uh, financed through Kickstarter, I guess. By all these nice fellas here, let's uh, let the credits roll so we can see all the backers. Pretty good uh, adventure game there. And this is only the prologue. The main games will be a few hours long, that's for sure. As I was saying, the game releases on 8th of June. Yeah, I think it's a pretty solid choice for people that like uh, old school point and click adventures. I would prefer to have voice acting on the, the dialogues, but uh, I guess that takes a lot of money and not all the studios can do that. Even older games on the golden era of adventure games didn't have uh, all the dialogues voice acted. Oh, it was made by a real engine. Okay. I'm gonna see a trailer for the main game. No, we're back on the start. So that was Backbone, the prologue. For anyone that want to check it, you can uh, check the Steam page. And uh, you can also give the full game a try in a few days from now. <laughs> 